All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, hi, hope everyone's doing well. I know I've been out for a little while now, but uh, I hear you guys have been doing really well, and it looks like maybe about half of you in every class have submitted a fully colored character, which is great. A couple of you had some issues in adding um, backgrounds and asked some questions, and uh, one or two of you asked about some layer effects, so I'm going to do um, a really quick adding a background tutorial here with another one. And I'm going to show you guys a couple layer effects that you can use if you'd like. Um, sorry if I'm oh, my voice is a little low. It's just the middle of the night, and it's the only time I can really do anything when everybody else is asleep. Um, my kids are great, and uh, I know I haven't been in work, and you're like, well, you know, should be there. I actually miss you guys, and I miss my job, but um, I am really enjoying the time at home with my two little babies. So. Um, with that, I am using uh, a student's uh, project right now. They had done the, uh, this is one of the ones they had returned in with the superhero colored in Photo P. As you can see, I still have two layers over here. So to compress these two layers down into one layer, we're going to hold down Control, the Shift key, and then press the letter E like everything. And when you do that, what you should see happens is all your layers just um, flatten out into one now you only had two layers here which is fine one was the color and one was the character so again when you look at your layer window right on this right hand side you're going to see control shift and then e and that should compress it all down to one layer if it happens to be locked unlock it by just clicking on the lock but uh, mine's unlocked i'm going to take my magic wand you can see the magic wand's the fourth one down if you can't find it you can always press the w key I'm going to click the magic wand, and when I click to the um, white background, you can see, it's kind of hard to see on my screen, but they, you can see like there's a dashed line outline. This is something I go over in the other video a little bit more extensively, but um, as long as you have a nice bright white background, it should just select your character. You hit backspace or delete, and that should get rid of all of your space behind there, and what you should see is really this checkerboard. The checkerboard means it's clear. Now we want to find a picture for the background. I've already gone through Google and found one. Uh, I wanted a cityscape. When you mouse over the picture, you can see the pixels. And you see like 1,774 pixels by 1,200. Hey, the bigger the number, the sharper, the better the picture is. So if this number, when you mouse over it, when you're looking for pictures, is like 500 by 300, that's a tiny picture. It's not going to look great. Um, with that, let's kind of open up that picture and... I'm just going to save it. You guys probably have to right click on it. Hmm. And it won't let me right click on it because some pictures are protected. Um, they want to let you pay for it. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll just take a screenshot of it. Easy way to steal it. All right. And I'll save that screenshot. And. And now I'll go back to my project, I'll go File, Open, and I will open my screenshot. And you see it should open up in a whole other window. You can see up top over here where you have these two little boxes. This would be the projects that you have open. I've got my background. All right, now here is going to be very quickly how to add the background. So holding down Control and pressing the letter A. A, that is select all, and you can see there's that little dashed line box that comes around everything. If you don't see that right now, it's not going to copy anything, so you have to control A, and that selects all. Control C to copy it, and then we'll go to our project and control, control V, like victory, to paste it. Now, you notice it popped up right away, and it's huge. And if you look in your layer windows, you see layer one, and then you see background. So all I see is layer one, because layer one's on top. I can click on that layer and literally drag that beneath the background, and there's my guy. Now, if for some reason your background is just too big or too small, you can do on that while you select that layer, edit, transform, and then scale. 
and when you do edit transform and scale that should give you this boundary box and you can shrink it down or you can bring it up I'll bring it up and make it nice and big and once you have it the way you want it you just hit enter there it is you can also click on your character and you can do the same thing by going to edit transform and scale and you can make your character bigger or smaller if you want to not ruin his aspect ratio just hold down the shift key but I think he's fine the way he is now if you wanted to be finished with this and totally done at this point you can go to file export as and a JPEG and just save it as a JPEG and just the default settings for all that it'll pop up in a little window they're all fine you can just hit save now what I'm going to show you that that saves it as a JPEG the JPEG is a regular photo the regular photo can be sent to your phone it could be sent in an email a text it can be posted on uh, social media it is a immediately mutable and usable image file um, which a Photoshop document isn't necessarily uh, works that way but somebody was asking before about how to add a glow around this and uh, I'm gonna show you right now first you want to make sure you're on the correct layer so if I'm gonna put a glow around our superhero we want to make sure we're on the superhero layer so make sure that's highlighted now we, we don't want to click on the word background if you double click on the word background we can you know rename it we don't want to click on the little icon either. What we want to do is we want to click in the empty gray spot. I'm just going to double click. And when I double click in that gray spot, I get something called a layer style window pops up. I'm just going to move it to the side. Now there's a whole bunch of options. And you know, once you have this open, you can feel free to play with them. But the one, only one I'm going to show you for right now is going to be for the outer glow. I'm going to click on the word outer glow. And what you're going to notice right now is once it's clicked, you might have noticed a little sort of outer glow pop up. Now, the color of that glow is right here. The opacity is something you don't have to worry about right now, but that's how uh, see-through it is. Now, by having it at 75%, that means you can kind of see through that glow, but you only see it as a little like yellow line around it. So what we want to go down over here is mess around with the size. Now if I click on the size, you see suddenly that glow is popping up much more significantly. I can sort of work it down a little bit too. All right, um, the spread just makes it a little bit more intense or less intense. I kind of like it on the lower spread. And the noise you don't really need to mess with. And if you decide on a different color, you just click on the color box and then you can get your color picker and you can do it in a variety of different ways. And I think that it's a cool little effect. Some of you kind of want to have that sort of like Dragon Ball Z Goku kind of, um, you know, charging up. I'll hit it with the blue over here and what I'll do is I'll make it a little bit brighter, a little bit more of the spray from there. And if I like that, I'll just hit OK. And there you have it. I have my outer glow on my character. There's a bunch of other options in there. And again, by double clicking on the actual layer, you can get that layer style box to come out. But remember, you want to make sure you do that on the layer that's actually your hero, your compressed down hero. I uh, hope that was helpful. Hope you guys are having a good time doing this, enjoying it. I'm going to post it as an assignment anyway. Uh, but I do want you to kind of post this totally finished JPEG version with a background and all the shading and everything as its own assignment aside from the other colored one. And if you guys are sitting there and you are done with all that, the next thing we can work on for right now is creating a villain, an arch nemesis to sort of be the foil or the opposite of your um, character. I'm going to try to post a little bit more about that um, in Teams. but. For those of you who are looking for the next thing to do, that's it. Um, with that, guys, I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope uh, you, your families, everybody's healthy and happy. Um, I will be taking another week or so um, at home over here. I, listen, I'm entitled to it so I can take it. Um, but I do look forward to seeing you guys again and helping you guys out. I hope you guys are doing great. All right. Bye.